people are forced to sign contracts, so they're made to do something. There's a widening gap right now between the art, the artist, and the public. Some of y'all don't understand that rapper jacking is like new fishing. When you look on MTV, you see Tyrese rolling around on a ski do, on a sea do, and we got a $60,000 piece of ice to make you dizzy around his neck. And they say, look, we'll take the ice off your neck. Go ahead, do your thing. No, I'll still wear it. He loses it in the water. 25 people go looking for it. And he said, well, fuck it. So you know, what does that say, the average cat that's looking at the video in Dallas? Oh, he don't mind missing that? When Cat come to Dallas, he gonna need 25 bodyguards. Right now, cats are between the two. And I don't blame the artists. How the hell are you gonna be between the public and also the NYPD? One cat calls giving back to the community, coming up out of the project, throwing dollar bills up in the air to the kids. It's just that my thing is I never blame the artists because right now they're treated as as cattle, like mindless children anyway. With they, might, they have no developmental skills because nobody's saying once you have the contract, we can't school you on life management? You give a fool a million dollars, what do you got? A fool with a million dollars. But you got these cats out here, executives, once they sign them, they know they could get paid more, they could go to fucking Bel Air or their little fucking penthouse, and they got nothing to do with say, yo, yo, that young cat we signed is wild, son. Yo, he's, he's wild. You signed that motherfucker, didn't you? So my bottom line, right, and, and like I said, you know, a lot of people are asking me, let me not take much of your time, because I'm going to be here 48 hours like the movie. You know, Russell asked me, I said, you know, this is something that's about all of us, because look, many of y'all are getting like 35, I've been seeing y'all since, some of y'all since you're 22, now you're 36, and you're getting older, and now there's some concern. I said, the bottom line... <laughs> The bottom line, black people across the country, some of y'all might not know this, but life to them is images and perception. Black folks, if you don't put it on BT, WB, UPN, or Hot 97, or maybe a little bit BLS and KISS, shit, you can say, look, we bomb in New York Thursday. Cats be like, yo, what's up Friday? <laughs> Y'all, you know, really, I'm going to tell you this, this point. That, look, first of all, intelligence will save your ass anyway. Me and, and Dr. West have spoken, you know, he's allowed me to come to Harvard. I've been speaking in this, on this subject for 14 years at a co collegiate level to look at 350 white kids taking notes while black kids might want to go to that frat party. But understand this. Images control perception. Young people, perception is everything. You have to study Nazi propaganda to understand what's going on with the transmission of media images. You have to know the fact of advertising and subliminal seduction. It ain't nothing new. You have to understand there's a guy called Noam Chomsky that influenced me to make Don't Believe the Hype. You gotta understand when they have a revolution in the country everywhere around the world, what's the first place they a fucking attack? They take over the television station and the radio station. If, look, it's called a coup. They start there. Look, if Hot 97 was to die tomorrow, some crackers that call themselves the home of hip hop wasn't even at KRS-One Hip Hop Appreciation Week. But well, yeah, the home of hip hop, who said? Cause you motherfuckers finance that shit? If they was to die tomorrow, I'm sorry, Stevens is my man, BT's owned by Viacom, that means it's, it's that much more for me to get up in their ass. Absolutely, yes. If they was to stop tomorrow, that's radio and TV. UPN and WB decide to go to fucking w XFL shit <laughs> like they did. You have to wonder whether we be better or worse. Talib all of a sudden got like equal platform. I'm saying all we asking for is fair trade. Yeah. Cats like he, The Roots, Comet, we're not saying they're better than whatever. We're saying equal platform, the yin and the yang. Yeah. And martial arts and life, everything, everything is balanced. Yeah. We're balanced people. Yeah. But when you look at the balanced people, 
people are not even, you don't even understand the effect. The Nation of Islam is here, not as a poetic, uh, oh man, wow, symbolic thing. These cats is in the cut. My guys, Jay, Brother Jay, the Brother uh, John, they, their security in the school systems in Baltimore. I, what y'all really need, y'all really need to have this in the middle of a school system. Yo, I just spoke at bed fifth grade classroom. They bananas. They, they, the number one question, and the reason that a lot of artists, they, they're kind of scared, because they don't even know how to answer young kids. Because young kids are really quick. They're quick to ask, ask them about contradiction. And if an older cat can't answer, he's like, yo, I can't even deal with them. Yo, really, really, I, I mean, they, they twist it like that. I mean, fifth grade classroom. I said, who do you like? They said, of course, they're going to name all the artists they see in here. What do you feel? What do you like from them? Well, I like how they dress or whatnot. What do you get out of them? Nothing. Unanimously, they said nothing. All right, cool. Because I believe that in music, you can either help the people, hurt the people, or be neutral. It's cool to be neutral and make, you know, make people shake that whatever. It's cool to do that. I mean, you go down to the Caribbean, they make you shake your ass. Yes. But to balance that out, maybe that artist can't do that. Somebody else got to get equal... Equal time. Talib got to get equal time without a company having to spend $3 million and giving it to BET and the radio station. We got motherfucking Crayola going on, y'all. Last point before I step out and get some water. I'm telling y'all what's going down. It's antitrust, and I'm telling Hillary right here. It's antitrust and collusion. Jermaine can't start his independent company by himself. He got to hook up with one of the white boys. Simple as that. It's like it's antitrust, meaning the startup entrepreneur cannot start up a record company, cannot get in the radio game, and damn sure can't get in TV. So you got to get one of the boys. I'm saying, okay, this is America. You get with somebody. Does that mean that you smash out the beginning of business? That's why these kids are talking about, son, I can't get put on because I can't build my shit. They in cities like St. Louis, they might start a record company, can't get played on the St. Louis station. Why? Because all the corporations are all in collusion with each other. It's a goddamn shame. Nobody is dealing with the fabric of black America or even the fabric of some of these white kids. I'm tired of having people come up to me like Tom and Newsweek. But what do you think about white kids and Columbine and stuff like that? Been going on in the black community for the last 20 years. So it floats to the top because this is cultural exchange. Culture is supposed to be exchanged. Human beings are supposed to share culture. That's what it's about. But when the companies narrow cast us to be one dimensional, what do you think white kids going to do? They're going to want to pick up and want to take it from us, and they're getting just this much, and no wonder they're going to fucking act buck. Remember this as I leave? Tupac sold 5 million records when he was living. 22 million after he's dead. Now, cats ain't saying they're trying to really die, but, you know, really, if they could get close to a line, because when it comes down to us, bad news is the only news. That's it. Thank you. Go ahead for Chuck D. Representing. Well, I, I think this All is right. good, though.